ever access the internet or use mobile devices, it is a certainty that you have generated cookies and sessions. One of the most significant protocols for effective communication between the server and the client is called the HTTP protocol. The fundamental disadvantage of the HTTP protocol is that it is a stateless protocol, which means that it does not keep track of any information about the server's and client's responses and requests. Now, there are three techniques to track important information in order to solve this challenge. And those are local storage, session storage and cookies. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipart on difference between local storage, session storage and cookies. So without any further ado, let's take a look at today's agenda. Firstly on our agenda we have what are cookies. Then we will see the meaning of local storage. After which we will see what is the meaning of session storage. Then we will see how are these three terms different from each other. Lastly, we will have a simple session conclusion. Now without any further ado, let's get into the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. So now let's start with our first agenda that is what are cookies? Let me ask you a question. Kitni bar aisa hua hoga that you have visited a website and you've seen a pop-up that says this website is using cookies to store your information. It's possible that you might have lost track. Now what I'm trying to say here is cookies have been used to store session related information of users since the dawn of time. This enables websites to present their users with a distinctive and interesting experience. Lakin, cookies can be difficult to employ and they have a very limited use case as well as a very limited data storage capacity. To fight this to combat this, modern users now have their very own storing systems such as local storage and session storage. Now we'll talk about local storage. So what is the meaning of local storage? So this read-only interface attribute gives you access to the document's local storage object which keeps your data safe across browser sessions. Local storage data is cleared when the page session ends. That is to say, when the page is closed, job you're done with the website, aapka kaam ho gaya, you close it, unlike session storage data. When a browser's last private tab is closed, jab band karte ho aap, it is cleared. That is local storage data for a document loaded in a private browsing or incognito session. So that gets deleted. It's stored nowhere once the session is over. That is local storage. Now we'll take a look what is meant by session storage. So the session storage read-only property can be used to access session storage objects. Session storage differs from local storage as local storage data does not expire, whereas session storage data is removed after the paid session expires. When a document is loaded into a browser tab, a new page session is generated. Jabki local storage ke saath aisa case nahi hai. Only when tab can be active at a time throughout a page session. Pages are only saved for the duration of the tab or browser session. They are not saved when the page reloads and restores. With that, we have come to our next agenda, just ka naam hai. How are these different from each other? That is, how is cookie, local storage, and session storage different from each other? So, the, we have five criteria here. First one is storage. So, cookie, they have a storage capacity of around 4 KB. When, when we talk about local storage, local storage has a capacity of 5 MB or 10 MB. Then session storage, it has a capacity of 5 MB. Then we have lifetime. Cookies expire according to the settings and usage of each tab and window. About local storage, it must be erased using JavaScript or manually because it is not session-based. For session-based, it works per window or tab that is session-based. This means that information is only retained for the duration of a session or until the browser or the tab is closed. Next, we have readability. Cookies can be read and written by both clients as well as servers. About local storage, only local storage can be read by the client. And for the session storage, it goes the same. Next we have data flow. For cookies, there is a way to send data to the server. For both local storage and session storage, there is no way that the data can be sent to the server. Now we have browser support. Keys are supported by all the browsers, even the older ones. For both local and session storage, a very few older browsers can support them. 
Now we have reached the conclusion of this video. Now that you know how powerful it is, don't be afraid to use browser storage in your applications. Use cookies for server-side data that requires a TTL, session storage for the specific use cases, and local storage to handle your application's global data. And that is it for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides PG program in web development offered by Bellhaven University. The course link of which is given in the description below.